Today my guest is Kane Ringstaff, a fullback for the Emory and Henry football team and also a captain, is that correct? Yeah. Uh, it's great to have you on the show, Kane. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We're going to go a little bit over your uh, high school career, your college career at UVA real quick, and then your career here now, and uh, also talk about some things along the way. So looking forward to it. All right. Uh, you, they just got, you just got moved to, half, uh, to fullback from halfback this past week before the NC Wesleyan game. Could you tell me a little bit uh, about why that change was made and uh, what you think you can bring at this new position to the offense? Uh, yeah, the coaches just brought me in on Monday and uh, said that they think I could help the offense more at fullback and uh, let Caleb Jennings and Darren Richardson run the ball a little bit more. We have a little bit more speed in the backfield and uh, have more of a dual threat. So uh, open our offense up a little bit more. And so are you feeling comfortable there yet, or are you having to run through the playbook and get different assignments and everything too? Uh, last week I was a little crunched, but uh, on the field I had a lot of guys that really knew what they were doing. They helped me a little bit on the field, but I had a full week of preparation. I thought the coaches did a good job of getting me ready. So, Well, one of the things that people have seen so far is the defense has looked very good, and the offense not so much at times. So is there any reason so far that, that you could account to one position or something like that, or or, or more so like losing uh, starters from last year, or, or what is it that has made the offense look so good at times and so bad at others? I mean, you can't take any, anything away from our defense. I mean, they've been great ever since I've been here. I mean, they were, they were great before I even got here. So, I mean, they're going to be good probably for every week of the season. But uh, the offense, we just didn't execute. I mean, we had the plays in. We had the personnel. I mean, we have a lot of athletic guys on the offense. I mean, it just comes down to execution. I mean, I think – I think eventually we're going to turn it around. We started looking a little bit better in the NC Wesleyan game. We, uh, we, played, we played together a lot more. We didn't get down on ourselves when we made a mistake. So I think uh, in the weeks to come, offense is going to turn around a lot and we're going to look a lot better. And you sustained some scoring drives against Wesleyan and got some great benefit from Caleb Jennings who uh, picked up a couple penalties. Like the, the second week in a row, I think he's picked up 30 yards worth of penalties against the opponent. You know? well, yeah, he's, he's, he's good at doing that, provoking the other <laughs> players. Uh, He's so small and quick, it's hard to tackle him. I think they get frustrated with him. But uh, Go for the face mask. That's what yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, also, Kane, you're a captain of the team. So uh, talk a little bit about how, how you approach the captainship and, and also you know, what are your philosophies on being a captain and what do you look to do? You know, and, and also, have you, have you struggled to reach some of the members, maybe some of the younger members of the team at this point? I mean, I was really honored when uh, I mean, the team votes you in as a captain. It's not a, it's not a coach's decision, so... I was really honored to get that position, and I mean, I think I take a, a leadership role on the team, or I try to anyway, and uh, we have a lot of young kids. I mean, we're bringing in 70 and 80 freshmen a year, so those uh, the captains and the uh, seniors on the team, they really have a good responsibility, but the young kids, I mean, a lot of them stepped up, and they're even playing on special teams now, and some of them might even be getting some reps in the game at uh, defense or offense, so I think they've done really well adjusting to the college life, and I mean, we haven't had to instruct them a whole lot, but... Uh, Whenever they need something, we're always there for them. And special teams can be a crucial part of the game. You see VT every week playing special teams, yep. and they use that to their advantage. But opposite VT, you got UVA, and you spent a little bit of time there. Your first two years of college, am I correct? Yep. Okay. Do you, do you want to talk about that any at all, uh, how, how, how you ended up here at Emory from UVA? Well, uh, I went there after my senior year in high school, and I played two football seasons. And I was, uh, I was happy there. I really liked football. I didn't... I didn't really enjoy the school part of it as much there. I mean, I kind of like the people from back here a lot more. And uh, I was recruited by Emory before I went to UVA. And when I decided that I might want to make a change, I mean, this was the first place I thought of. I had a lot of my best friends. They actually go to Emory. So uh, I know they had a really good program. And I really liked Coach Montgomery when I came down here and talked to him. So uh, this was the only option that I had when I decided to transfer. I went ahead and called Coach Montgomery and told him. So. And was he the original one to recruit, recruit you as you came straight yeah, out of high school? Yeah, he was. Uh, was what was his first year here? Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, I don't know if his first year, first year here, but uh, came down and I liked the whole coaching staff my senior year. So uh, it was a really nice place, and glad I got to come back to it. So. And you also had some of your former teammates, high school teammates on the on the roster as well. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, right now we have uh, Jeremy Keene and Caleb Jennings, and then. Shane Wicks is a freshman. We've had more in the past, and some of them have quit, and some of them uh, aren't playing anymore, but it's really fun to play with them again. I didn't think I'd ever be in the same huddle as two other Richlands kids on the offense, but uh, it's really nice right now to see Caleb and uh, Jeremy in there, and then Shane's even getting some time on special teams, and uh, due to injuries, I mean, you might even see him on the defensive uh, side of the ball some. 
Well, you got a great start off the last season, but then you sustained an injury. Um, what injury was it specifically, and, and how was rehabbing from that injury? Well, uh, in the Methodist game, actually the game coming up this week, I tore my ACL, my MCL, and my medial meniscus. So, uh, Two of the three. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did uh, I did some work on my knee, but uh, I had surgery a fall break last year and tried to get in there as quick as I could and went to one of the best doctors for a knee surgery, but rehab was a pain to say the least. I mean, I didn't really think how much it would take to come back from an injury like that. I can see how a lot of people quit after an ACL reconstruction, but uh, the training staff here, especially Tom Rainey in the training room, I mean, he did a great job. I was in here every day working my butt off. I think I might have actually worked harder this off season than I ever had before, just trying to get my knee back and ready to go this year. Also, going back to Richlands a little bit, can you talk about how they've been so successful as a high school program, you know, spe especially for this area? It's a model program for this area. Well, I think one of the big things that they do is uh, their work ethic. Uh, their off-season program, I mean, even if I'm at Emory or I'm at Richlands, I mean, I'm not losing anything because I'll still go back and I'll work out with the high school team. I mean, their work ethic in the off-season is, I mean, it's ridiculous compared to a lot of other high schools around this area. I think that's where they get a, a big strength against their competition is how hard they work. And also, uh, for recruiting purposes, do you think that, that there's an adequate amount of uh, local uh, talent here at Emory and Henry on the football team, or do you think you'd like to see more? And, and if so, how would, how would you go about doing that if you were the coaches? I think the coaches are doing a great job recruiting this area. I mean, they're going into all the high schools, and uh, there's a lot of kids at Richlands now that I know want to come here as well. I mean, it's just uh, there's a tradition at this school. I mean, Emory has one of the best D3 programs. I mean, look at the facilities that facilities, we're getting. Yeah. New facilities, But uh, I think they're doing a great job. I mean, you see kids from uh, Abingdon and Lebanon and Hone Acre and Richlands in here. So, uh, I mean, hopefully get more. I love seeing local kids in here. I mean, you see a lot of uh, tradition and pride, and a lot of kids around here know how to win. So Right.